personal finance practice problem using Excel. PPO payout calculation. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to Excel, that's okay because we'll basically work this from a blank sheet. If you do have access, there's three tabs down below. An example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab. The example tab in essence and answer key. Let's take a look at it now. Information on the left-hand side, basically laying out the PPO and basically an expense that we have here. Then we're gonna do our calculations on the right. And the second tab, the practice tab, we got some pre-formatted worksheets on the left-hand side so you can work through the practice problem with less Excel formatting. The third tab, the blank tab, we're gonna be doing the Excel formatting as we go. If you don't have access to this, you won't have the information on the left-hand side, you can open up a blank sheet. I would suggest selecting the entire sheet thusly, right-clicking on it, and then go into the format cells, put in your underlined formatting, which I usually use currency, and then brackets for the negative numbers, no dollar signs and no decimals. That's where I start. I'm not gonna hit okay, but I'm just gonna X out. That's what I would do if this was a blank sheet starting from scratch. Then put your data on the left-hand side like so, adjusting cells as necessary, such as that percent here, and then make a skinny C column and we're ready to roll. So what we have on the left, the PPO plan, emergency room care at a network hospital coverage percent after the member has met an annual deductible uh, is 75%. So we're gonna say there's a deductible of 500 and then after they clear the deductible, they're gonna be set paying the 75% and we're gonna assume that an accident has happened that cost $2,100. So what's gonna be the amount that's paid out of pocket would then be the question. So let's do it. We're gonna do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna make the column D a little bit larger. Let's put my cursor between D and E and make it a little bit bigger here. And so obviously we're imagining we got an accident. We broke every bone in our body and our first thought is like, oh my gosh, well, how much is this gonna cost me for the medical bill? So. As we're agonizing over that, we're gonna do the calculation here. So amount, we're gonna call it the amount out of pocket. Let's say out of pocket. So we're looking at how much it's gonna be costing us here. So let's make this a, a header format, selecting these two cells up top. I'm gonna to go to the home tab font group, make it black and white with the bucket drop down. make that black. And then I'm gonna to go to the letter and drop down, make it white. That's our header style that we've been using. So let's say the claim, we're gonna start with the claim. And so that's the that's the uh, hospital saying that it's costing us two thousand one hundred to fix every bone in our body. That's not bad, actually. So let's say then the deductible. So we'll take the deductible. We got to clear the deductible of this amount. I'm going to say equals that amount, pulling it in from the data whenever I can. That's best Excel practices. That's how we practice here with the best practice of Excel. Equals the five hundred. The five hundred. I'm going to put an underline for formatting sake. Go into the home tab, we're gonna to go to the font group and underline the line underneath is called, we refer to it as an underline. Just came up with that name for no apparent reason. That's just what we call it. Just gotta remember it. There's no logic behind it. Deductible. So this is the amount after the deductible. It's gonna be equal to the 2,100 minus the deductible. So E2 minus E3, that's gonna be the 1,600. And so then we're gonna say that the percentage covered uh, by the company, so the, let's say covered coverage percent after deductible. Now I'm gonna to need to make this cell a little bit larger. I'm gonna put my cursor between the D and the E and fatten it up a bit. It's gotta fatten up that cell. It looks better, that looks, cell looks better when it's fatter. So this is gonna be equal to the 75, this is gonna be equal to the 75. I need to percentify that cell though because it looks like a one, but it's not a one, it's 75. So let's go to the home tab. We're gonna to go to the number group and percentify it. Percentified, you best percentify and recognize the percentify. This is in the font group. Let's gonna underline it here. And then this is gonna be the amount uh, paid by insurance, which is gonna be equal to Let's say this is gonna be equal to the 1,600 times the 0.75 or 75%, E4 times E5, 1,200. 
And so that's the amount paid. So the amount over the deductible paid out of pocket then, that's the amount paid by the insurance company. So amount over the deductible out of pocket, pocket. I'm gonna make this cell even wider. It needs to be thicker. This cell needs to be wider. I'm gonna put my cursor between the D and the E and widen that thing up. There we go. And so this is gonna be equal to, this is gonna be equal to the, uh, the 1,600 minus the 1,200. So that's how much we're going to pay. Plus we had to pay the deductible. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be the claim up to deductible. And so the deductible is gonna be equal to this 500 up top. So that means we're gonna pay that 400 and the 500 if this is how it's working. So the amount out of pocket on the total basis is gonna be equal to the S to the U to the M, otherwise known as the sum. And then I'm gonna just select E, these two, the 400 and the 500 and enter. Let's put an underline under the 500. We call it an underline because we put a line underneath it with the little U, that U stands for underline. And so then let's make this, let's put some blue and border around it, fancifying it, make it fancy. We're gonna go to the home tab, font group, uh, bucket blue. If you don't have that blue right there, it's in the more colors right down here. Standard right there, blue. That's the one. You're the one, Wyatt font group we're going to hit the drop down here and say this is going to go that's from Wyatt Earp tombstone you're the one you're the one Wyatt he's the brother Wyatt one of the brothers any case now let's let's adjust this a little bit and let's pretend this claim was below the deductible so we can do a little bit of practice some fancy formatting let's say this was 400 below the deductible so now then that would mean that this shouldn't go negative. I don't want that to go negative. Don't go negative. So what we're gonna do is stop it at zero with an if function. Let's, that's one way we could do it. Let's say equals if brackets. If this cell, the 400 minus that cell is less than zero, then when I say then, I'm gonna put a comma, then I want you to put a zero there. That's what the logic is. But if it's not, meaning it's greater than zero, then I want you to do the calculation, which once again was this cell 400 minus the 500, close up the brackets. And so now it'll put a zero there. And then this cell down here also needs to be, notice we kind of characterized it in the name. Uh, if, if my amount of the claim was less than the deductible, then I'm only gonna pay the lesser of. So I'm gonna say, I want the lesser of these two numbers with this trusty min function. So I'm gonna say equals min brackets, take the smaller of the minimal one of these two, the four and the five, close up the brackets. And so there it gives us the 400. So we would only be paying the 400 because that's what it costs and it's under the deductible. Let's bring it back on up to what it was before. Why did I put 4,000? What was it before? To 100. Okay, so there there that is that looks good so that we can also say okay how much is paid by the insurance company so let's say that uh, that the total claim so let's say amount paid by insurance company and let's do our border our black and white here home tab font grew let's make this black and white and let's say that we've got, okay, if, if the total bill, the claim equals the 2,100 and we paid out of pocket for this whole thing, the 900, the difference is gonna be equal to the 2,100 minus the 900 or that, that 1,200, which you know we already had up top but just to calculate it here again. So the amount paid by insurance company, let's put some border blues around that. Gonna go up here and say, this is gonna be border font group, border it, border it please. And put some blue on the background. Let's put an underline under the 900, underline under the nine font underline. So there we have it. Now I'm just gonna calculate this again, uh, just using a little bit different format of the calculation, just to practice putting together our tables here. So let's say if we just look at it a different way, you can imagine these things best to kind of work them 
different ways for your own what works best for you and also because you want to see what other people are doing and be able to kind of visualize things multiple different ways practicing these calculations so i'm going to i'm going to format paint the skinny because i want a skinny f here so i'm going to put my cursor on the skinny c uh, home tab clipboard format paint it and then skinny f it's going to skinnerize it skinnerize that one and so I'm going to put my cursor from C to E. Let's go from C to E and hide these cells. So we right click on it then and don't delete it, but hide it. We're going to hide it so that we have now we have column F still here. We've got this hidden cells between B and F. I'm going to make G a little bit wider now. We're going to say this needs to be got to fatten up G here. G's way too skinny, way too skinny. And so this is going to be the amount out. Let's say amount out of pocket. Here, let's gonna, I'm going to make three cells uh, border or our header format from G1 to I1. Go to the Home tab. We're going to go to the Font Group. Make that black and the lettering white. So then I'm going to start in the same way. I'm going to say, but this, this time I'm going to do another kind of sub-calculation for it. So I'm going to call it Amount After Deductible colon. And then we're going to have a sub-calculation underneath it which will be the claim amount, which is going to be, I'm going to pull that to the inside now. That'll be equal to the 2,100 for us breaking all of our bones and now worrying about the insurance about it. And then the deductible, let's say this is going to be equal to the deductible equals the 500. This is the same starting point, but we put it under this kind of a subcategory let's underline it home tab font group underline then i'm going to copy this one up top and this is going to be the total down here but i'm going to get rid of the colon by double clicking on it going to the end get rid of that colon and then i'm going to bring this to the outside because this is the total equals then the 2100 h3 mine is the 500 h4 equals the 1600 let's do some formatting i'm going to take these three cells because this is a subcategory calculation we're going to go to the home tab alignment and indent and then one more time por favor home tab alignment indent again so there we have that and then the next one's going to be i'm going to call this the percent this is where things kind of change a little bit. Percent paid out of pocket after deductible. In other words, I want to see how much percent we're going to pay instead of calculating the amount the insurance company pays first. Meaning, if the insurance company is paying 75%, we're going to be paying 25%. But let's do a quick calculation to get that. So this is going to be, let's call this 1 or 100%, which is going to be 1%. And then we're going to subtract out the amount coverage percent after deductible by the company. I'm going to make column G a little bit fatter here. We're going to fatify G. It's a little too skinny still. Got to get a little bit more calories in that one. And then this one is going to be equal to 75, 75. And then let's percentify best percentify because that's not one home tab number there you got a percent of five in order to recognize and then we got the one that one could be a hundred too because you could go to uh, percentify that one if you want and then the difference between the two will be the 25 percent home tab font group let's underline i'm going to copy this title copy it and put it down here and get rid of the colon Do and i'm going to go to the double click on it go to the end remove the colon and then put this in the outer column. This equals the 100% minus the 75%. And now we've got a percentify if we're going to recognize home tab line numbers, percentify it. There we have it. Let's do some indentation by selecting these three because we did some subcategory calculations. Home tab, alignment, indent. And then this one needs to be indented again home tab align alignment and dent again let's fatten up column g again it's still you're still too skinny column g you're still too skinny let's put it that's too fat we don't need it to be that fat okay so then we're going to go down here let's put an underline here we're going to go to the home tab font group and underline 
Okay, so then this is going to be the amount over the deductible. So the amount over the deductible out of pocket. So that means that we're going to be paying 25% of this amount over the deductible. So this equals the 1,600 times the 25%. So we didn't calculate how much the insurance company's paying. We went straight to the percent that we're paying. And then we've got the claim up to deductible. So that meaning the deductible amount, or if the claim was less than the deductible, it would be the amount less than the deductible. I'm just gonna put the deductible for now. We'll do our logic test calculations in a second. And that's gonna give us the amount out of pocket, which is the sum of these two, the four and the five, equals the S to the U to the N sum of the 4,000 and the 500 and enter the 900. Let's put an underline under the five. Let's go to the home tab to do it, font group, and put a line underneath, often known as the underline. Let's border blue this whole thing. I'm selecting this whole thing. And let's go to the home tab, font group, borderize it, and blueize it. So there is that. Okay, so then notice we didn't calculate the amount paid by the insurance company now, so we could do that down here. We could say amount paid paid by company by insurance, let's say. And let's just make this uh, our header, home tab, font group, and make this black and white. And so I'm just going to pick up my claim amount. So if the full claim amount is that 2,100 equals the 2,100. And we paid out of pocket equals out of pocket this amount, 900 equals the 900. Then the difference is the amount paid by insurance, which equals the 2,100 minus the 900 is the 1,200. Let's do the border blue brackets or select these items, home tab, font group, blue, or borders, and then blue. Put an underline under the nine. The nine needs an underline underneath it. Okay, and then we'll do our, our little formatting up top here. So let's do our formatting up top. And let's imagine that, that this was down to 300. So I'm going to put the 1,200, 2,100 down here. Let's imagine it was something below the deductible, like 300. Our calculation wouldn't work because this shouldn't go negative. So let's practice our if logic function to make that not go negative, stick at zero. Equals if brackets, if this number 300 minus the 500 is less than zero, then comma, we go to the next test. What do you want to do if it's less than zero? Well, don't go negative. I don't care what you do. I ain't going negative. We're, we're going to stay positive around here. And then comma, and then the value, if it's false, then what do you do? Well, then you just subtract it like normal. The 300 minus the 500, close it up and enter. So it stops at zero. And then down here, if this amount is below the deductible, we want the amount below the deductible, not the deductible. So we're going to do the smaller of these two numbers with the good old men function equals the men function, the men function of these two. Close up that one. So that looks good. Mucho mejor, nothing paid by the insurance company because it's under the deductible. Let's put this back up to 2100. See if it messes anything up. It doesn't. I think we're good. Let's unhide the the cells that we hid between b and f there's hidden cells you could tell because that's not the way the alphabet goes a b f what there's that's not right so i'm going to put my cursor from b and go on over to g right click the selected area and unhide there that's how it goes a b c d e f so now i've got these two they look good so here, this calculation, notice we went right to the percent we paid instead of calculating the amount the insurance company paid uh, first. And so that's kind of the difference between the two. Let's do a spell check on it. Review it. Spell checky. Coverage. Coverage. Okay. All right. That's not too bad.